In the last video, you saw how to create an Azure AD app and a Microsoft Teams app that we're gonna use for authentication. And in this video, we're gonna implement authentication in our custom tab. Now at this point, the tab is ready to add the logic necessary to request the email messages uh, for the current user. So before we can request um, email messages from Microsoft Graph, we need the user to sign in and obtain an access token from Azure AD. So there are a lot of steps that we need to do to implement this um, authentication routine. So I'm first gonna start by adding uh, a new method. So my method that I'm gonna add here is called get messages. That's the one that we um, just we added in our, our handler here. And what this is going to do, uh, it first acquires an access token. We'll create that method in just a minute. Um, and then it submits the request to Microsoft Graph to obtain the first 15 email messages uh, for the current user. And you can see that we have going to the messages endpoint, sorting um, by the um, uh, when the messages were received and by the subject, and then just grabbing the top 15 uh, results. Um, the get access token method, which I'll go ahead and add that now. This method here, get access token, um, it uses the Microsoft Teams JavaScript SDK to start the authentication process. And that's going to open a pop-up window that's going to load our um, allstart.html page to start the authentication process with Azure AD. So ultimately, the authentication process is going to end in the pop-up window, and then it's going to either result in a success or a failed authenticated, uh, authentication process. But in either case, the associated callback handlers are going to be registered um, in the authenticate method. So there's a success and there is um, our failure. So what I need to do now is I need to create a new file. This new file is going to be called auth start Dot HTML. So I'm going to come over here into our public folder and create a new file here called authstart.html. And I'm just going to paste in all this text. Now, this file uh, it uses the Microsoft Teams JavaScript SDK. As you can see here, we are importing it in. There's a Teams right there. There's the JavaScript SDK. So it's importing the JavaScript SDK and the Azure Active Directory Authentication Library, there's ADAL right there, to configure um, ADAL for Azure AD applications uh, that, are, that we previously created uh, already in this demo. It's then gonna redirect the user to Azure AD sign-in page and instructs the, uh, the page to redirect the user uh, back to another page called AuthIn that you see right here. We'll create that in just a minute. Now, one thing we need to do here is you notice that I have uh, a place where I need to uh, enter um, this, this ID. So this ID that you see listed right here, that is the ID of our app that we copied uh, from Azure AD. So let's go find that all start, and we're gonna go ahead and paste that in right here. Um, I then am gonna have another file though that I'm gonna need uh, to update or to create, um, this authin.html. So let me go ahead and add this in. So we'll do a auth, in.html and save that in and we need to do the exact same thing grab that ID and pass that in right here to configure it okay so what this is doing um, just like that all start.html file this file uses the JavaScript SDK from Microsoft Teams and adal.js to configure adal for the Azure AD app that we previously created in this demo. It's gonna parse the results that are received from Azure AD, and if the user is successfully authenticated, the page requests an access token for Microsoft Graph from Azure AD, and then it notifies Microsoft Teams that the authentication process has either succeeded or failed, and you see that right down here. The notification process triggers Microsoft Teams to close the pop-up window and run the register callback handlers on our tab. So now everything should be in good shape. So now we can test our app. So from the command line, let's come over to our app and let's run uh, gulp ngrok serve. Before I do that, I said we were gonna use my subdomain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my subdomain in the environment variables. Again, this is I'm only doing this here uh, because I, so that I don't have the ngrok uh, creating a dynamic um, uh, subdomain every time we start it up instead I'm using my licensed copy. 
Now, if I was using the free version, I would grab the URL that's listed right here uh, for the dynamic subdomain. And what I would do is go back over to our web app, go to the overview page for this or our authentication page. And I need to go update um, this endpoint right here on the redirect URI so it knows where to send the person back to. And it looks like we have an error here. Let's go back and take a look at our code, make sure that we got everything correct. Oh, we need to pass in an uh, empty array um, as to initialize it. And we got an extra space there as well. And that should have been like that. All right, we'll save our changes and we'll come back and we'll rerun Ingrok serve. All right, now that it's running, let's go ahead and test our app. So I'm gonna come back over to Microsoft Teams So now let's go ahead and let's install our app. So I'm gonna come over here into our apps and I'm going to upload a custom app for me and my teams. And I'm gonna choose the app that we just created. So our auth tab package, auth tabs right here. And we'll go ahead and add it to a team. And this is our 548, we'll add it to the general uh, channel. There we go. Um, we don't really care what the configuration value is because we're not really using it. So go ahead and save it. There we go. Now, after the package has been uploaded and we got everything installed, uh, we can now go ahead and test out um, our tab. So I'm going to select the Get My Messages button. Microsoft Teams is going to open up a window that will be redirected to Azure AD to, for me to sign in. And if I'm prompted to sign in, I have to enter the credentials, but I'm already signed in as the current user. So Teams already knows that. And so it was able to kind of, kind of just have that flash of that pop-up. Um, so Azure AD is not gonna require me to re-sign in again, and instead just redirects me straight to the authend.html page, which was a successful authentication. So that just grabbed the access token and notified Teams of the success. Um, after I've successfully signed in, which I didn't really have to sign in, but it did it for me, Teams closed the pop-up window and, and then went ahead, got the access token, and submitted the request to Microsoft Graph for my last uh, 15 emails um, that were retrieved from Microsoft Graph. So what you've seen here in this, in this demo is that we created a custom channel tab that displays information about the current user retrieved from Microsoft Graph by leveraging uh, a authenticated tab uh, and the support we have for it um, with um, Azure AD and Microsoft Teams with the JavaScript SDK. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Now remember that this video is part of a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so that you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning module.